Buenas tardes, buenas tardes, Allen Time Studio. Estamos aquí en el fin del año. ¿Qué crees? Huh? Hey. hey there. I don't think I'm actually in the picture. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm going to hop up for two reasons. Number one, I don't have my uh, water bottle. Number two, uh, there's a package outside. Delete that. Um, and number three, you, well, no, I guess I have enough. I'll, I'll refill mine later. Hey there. So, um, uh, Jesse's computer, which we're streaming on, was being a little slow. And so if you see anything strange or out of the ordinary about, you know, our stream, please let us know, um, in the chat so that we can, you know, hopefully adjust or do something. But, uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to pop up. And then we'll give you time to, uh, uh, you want to turn on the lights? Oh, up there? Yeah, it'll give us more light. I don't know that, welcome to a very weird start here. Um, I don't know that that actually gives much more light. Did that make a difference? Well, but isn't it delightful? Well, I find it delightful, but I'm going to have to, like, I'll send a picture yeah, I don't think it really made a difference. Um, but I got little twinkly lights that are like twinkly light clips for photos. And so I now have a cute little twinkly light photo display and it makes me really happy. And so, yeah, that's what I just turned on. But like I said, I don't think it actually makes a difference from, <clears throat> from here. Yeah, we should probably get a ring light. Well, well at some point we will. Uh, All right, now just a second, I'm going to hop outside. Go get my package that Jake is trying to encourage other people to steal before you get out there. Mm -mm -mm. And, oh, there we go. I'm fixing this. Okay. Yeah. That right there. So I hope everybody had a good holiday, if you had a holiday. Uh, we can we can show off one thing that Jesse got, huh? Which one? That over there. Oh my. Oh goodness, you almost knocked my laptop off my lap. Very sorry. David. Mm -hmm. I have a new backpack! And David designed it. So it's all rainbow and bright and pink and colorful and I as we traveled, I kept seeing these backpacks and I was like, they're delightful. They have a little fox and I wanted one so badly and David got me one. <laughs> so excited. Um, okay, so, right? right? I love it too. Okay, before we go anywhere else with this though, you know who's about to have a really good day. Mateus! Almost your birthday. If I have it right, it's tomorrow. What I day think. is today? It's almost Matthias' birthday. Um, yeah. Happy birthday. Only like four hours off, it would seem. I'm going to double check that. I think it's... Yes, I have it down for tomorrow, so I'm either wrong. Matthias In is... one hour. One, one hour. hour. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh. Because nine plus two is eleven. It's eleven, yeah. And Good so, job. and and not only that, I for some reason I thought ten p.m. was four hours away from the next day. It's not. It's just two. David's clock resets at two a.m. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's like oh, new day. But you know what that means? Means we're gonna be here when it becomes Matisse's birthday. <gasps> Oh my gosh, we have to remember mm -hmm. at three o'clock break and we all have to shout happy birthday at once. 52 minutes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> all right. So uh, let's take care of the poll really quick because I think the result was quite clear. It was, <clears throat> but it ended up like being closer in some regards than I had thought at first. Yeah. Um, let me get to the right document. Okay. Because we were we were voting on punctuation um, about where where we're gonna put sentential punctuation, um, and 
So there are three options. Punctuation before the sentence, mm -hmm. punctuation after the sentence, mm -hmm. or both. Yeah. Before and after. Um, and so people were not feeling the after the sentence energy. Cool. Um, that only got five votes. Got it. In second place, but coming in much closer, um, is punctuation before the sentence. Mm -hmm. But it went both. Yeah, that's actually with eighteen votes. I mean, that's that's what we've done for every single language up to this point. So I, I thought we could do something new, but that's all right. That's all right. I never really thought about only having punctuation before the sentence, and like, but why not? Yeah, it makes it makes it the most sense. It's economical, and it lets you know ahead of time. Right, like what kind of sentence you're dealing with if you have some sort of differential marks for questions yeah. or whatever. Yeah. The, it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. And then you don't need a capital letter or anything because it's like yeah. the start of the sentence. Um, what do you mean by sentential punctuation? Uh, it means punctuation. like putting punctuation, like in English, we just have it at the end of the sentence with question marks, periods, exclamation points, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is going to have punctuation before and after the sentence, like how question marks and exclamation marks are before and after Spanish exclaims yeah. and um, questions, but not, not periods, which I always found interesting where it's like, if it's just a regular sentence, we don't care about the before part. But I well, do like the, the the hey, you're gonna get something new in this sentence. I'm gonna I'm gonna set you up. With only three punctuation marks, the absence of a punctuation mark is message enough. That's true. Um, but uh, the um, the you you know the advantage of uh, of initial punctuation if you've ever read aloud to you know a child or a group of children um in english because there are some sentences where it's like you're reading it and it's like um you know uh and you're just reading it, it's like you know uh oh there's a new package at the door <laughs> <laughs> Because it's like, you. you know, based on the way the sentence is going, you think that what you're reading is a statement, and then you get to the end, and suddenly it's a question mark, and you realize you've done the wrong intonation. Uh, and it's so much nicer to have it at the beginning, so you can plan your intonation accordingly. Um, and while you're looking yeah. at your phone real quick, yes. I think you should show off what you got. Oh my, yeah. This was was got for me by by my stepdad at the um, at the Japanese museum, and it's a bunch of different types of um, cats with their names in English and in Japanese. Most of them are in katakana, but I think there was at least one of them that was in characters. Everybody mm -hmm. thought I was a little, a, a little <clears throat> crazy. I think when I was like, "Oh my gosh, it needs to be a display cup because like, I don't even want to put it away. Like, yeah. you want it to sit out and not worry about you know hurting it it's while you try cat. to wash it and whatnot." And I just realized what this one cat is. Did you show this to Ragdoll? Oh my goodness! There's, Ragdoll, look at this. A ragdoll cat. I didn't even know that there was a ragdoll cat. Ooh, it's such I a charming love it. cat too. Right? And ragdoll loves cats, and so that works even better. Yay! Okay, so anyway, uh, yeah, it is sorry. a display because I don't want to put it away or anything. Mateus, I hope we get to see pictures. A birthday present from from his parents is a, a large makeup set and gonna go get birthday ready right now. Mm. And so, yay! <clears throat> okay, so really quickly, um, before we move on to serious things, does our snail need anything else? Does he need antenna? Yes. Like, mm. needs to little antenna? Even... Okay. You gotta ask, David. All right, all right. We'll, we'll figure out the oh, little gosh. antenna. Um, I 
am so happy with this nail. Like I get that, you know, we're just doing this for fun. Let's remind everyone this nail is for fun. Um, this was not like, oh my God. Could you it's imagine having it into that big? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we're probably going to go with that. Um, and so, excellent. Oh, Jonathan, you're right. They cannot see the whole snail. Um, here's where it cuts off. Hmm. Okay. Um, dun, 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 dun. I'm guessing like it and needs also, to be right there. I'll tell you whenever the video catches up. Hello, Carl, by the way. Hey, Carl. And indeed, snails are always fun. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that looks, that's like right where you need it. So, Carl, a little bit of news. Um, I went through, uh, the two recent versions of the script that we got, there were some changes. Uh, it resulted in one translation. Uh, it was kind of like, it was a short one. I just did it. The other ones were just, they took part of one line and threw it with part of another one. And so it was just a lot of copy and paste work. I had to re-record a couple of things. So just an FYI regarding the super secret project that we're working on that nobody can know about. <laughs> that's so secret. Yeah, that's not super secret. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Now we're going to turn both these things to uh -huh, curves. Please. Yep, man. Um, little curvy dude. Yeah. Mm. 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 And then a little little ball at the end. Yeah, probably not going to be this big. Probably though. not. Well, yeah. Carl, well, I don't know if we would go that far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, teasing. I think he's kind of amazing too. I'm really glad you do. Man, it would suck if you didn't. Oh, Jonathan has a favor to ask of the chat and us if we don't mind being a little distracted. Jonathan, we never let ourselves be distracted. This is I just, studios is serious business. We are always language all day, every day. Ooh, it's going to be Kanan. Let's see, man. It's going to be a superlative. At least an origin. We need to figure out the meaning. Well, I mean, I would extreme. I would think the tolling of a bell. None. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <gasps> yeah. Okay, it needs to go forward just a tiny bit. I think. Oh my gosh! All right, and do you want little balls on the end? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Miles also guessed. All right. Ooh, profound is a suggestion by Mateus, mm -hmm. an anime fan. That, you know, surely, surely Bib will come on and say hi if Bib is actually around. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Oh, that's weird. Let's go with it. Okay, let's do uh, scale. Um, oh no, no, no! I don't want to do it like that. I don't want to do it like that. Let's go actions, scale. Let's yeah. try a twenty-five percent for starters. Silvertail asks an interesting question. Again? Yep. Does the snail have four eyes? And I'm starting to to remember. Perhaps the eyes of a snail really are on the antenna, and it's not. That's a slug does that. Are the snail antenna? Are those the eyes, or do they have little eyes down below? Oh my gosh. Like. As many times if I, as I've seen snails. Okay, I wanna. I need to get. Where's where's the um. What are you looking for, sir? Sidebar. No. Oh boy. Where's oh. where's the where's the thing? I don't know what thing you're asking about. I'm so sorry. The thing on the left where I can press the thing. No. You can press the thing. 
Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Like, that's not the thing. Huh. Window. Is it the panels list? There it is. Ah, uh, toolbar. Oof, thank goodness. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, Bib. Um, the eyes of gastropods, fancy word for snail-like things, are indeed at the tips of the superior tentacles. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. Well, our snail now has four eyes, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like that? With it coming out like that a little bit? I think so. And then okay. let's see how it looks on the other one to just to make sure. I think I think we have it. Yeah. All right. I feel good about this. Yay! Okay. <laughs> so so yeah, our snail just has all the eyes because it it needs it. That's all right. That's all right though, as we know. Even if Bibleridian is the god of con, like he doesn't know biology. <laughs> well, he knows everything but gastropods. I, I hear that was the the class uh, that that Bib just skipped. Yeah, he was I mean, like, don't want to, don't want to hear about him. He he couldn't make heads or tails of biology because it didn't have any numbers in it. And as we know, he's kind of a math guy. Excuse me, a maths guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, but yes, hope you had. <clears throat> Great holiday season, Bibleridian, and are looking forward to 2023. Cause mm, yay! Yeah. Mm, okay. Ooh. Hmm. Possible uh, side venture for you to consider, Mister Loridian. Bible radio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, so then we are back to it. And we're getting close, so uh, the, the question is, like, we have three things that we need to do for this writing system, uh, at least in terms of for uh, design. Number one, finish the glyphs. Number two, do the numbers. And number three, do the punctuation. So we know that we're going to do punctuation at the beginning and end. Uh, it's just a matter of what. Um, <clears throat> Obviously, we usually think of question mark, uh, period, and exclamation mark, um, but we don't necessarily need to do all three of those, and we might do more of them if you can think of other ones. Um, Paper and pen me. Oh, uh, well, here, why don't, you, why don't you work in this so we have it all in the same I know, way. that's why I was, you know. Yeah. Uh, I just had an idea. See if it works. Can't wait to see this. Whoop! Sorry, I got, got stuff on. Do you want yeah. me to put it here? Or no, what? while you're doing it, just give me something to work on. Oh, yes. Um, let's see. Done that, done that, done that. All the ones with the blue star done. Don't want to do that. <laughs> He's going to avoid our <clears throat> sound for B as long as possible. Yeah, that's, that's the worst one. Uh, this one doesn't look too bad. It's going to have to be done eventually, so we're going to do B. All right. <clears throat> oh, and you said you didn't care whether I did it on the back here or mm. over here. That no, doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure. <sighs> How many more episodes do we expect for this season? I'd say no more than three. Um, no more than three. Uh, so sometime in January, uh, season five will begin. Season five will be the dog language. Uh, today is December 29th, uh, so we've almost reached the end of the year. And we have a treat up upcoming for patrons on January 1st. So uh, as you know, every single season, we've had a poll about what the language for the next season is going to be. Um, and that uh, that's a bit moot for next season, since there's only one more language and we know what it's going to be. It's going to be the dog language. And so instead, we are doing a poll for which animals are going to be a part of the first expansion uh, for the game. Um, and we have a 
whole uh, series of them. Oh yeah. Well, it's we're we're just great, Mr. Laradian, because of course we're in California. It's like sixty-eight outside. It's great. Ah, lovely. Anyway, but um, we have um, a whole bunch of animals to consider. And I don't know if I'm going to remember all of them off the top of my head, but potential are... Uh, oh, oh, I remember my favorites, but I'm not going to try to sway anyone. So we've got badgers, bats, chipmunks. I'm getting lost here. Beaver. Was beaver, it? beaver, of course. Uh, skunk, river otter, um, wolves, coyotes, um, squirrels, foxes, squirrels and foxes. And I uh, can't remember if there are other. Or if, if, I think there are others, but I can't remember. There's a big list. It's um, it's a pretty big list. Raccoons. Raccoons, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, raccoons. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> okay, okay. David, yeah. I'm just a cat with a message. So what I do is I put my paw down as my mark, right? Just, hey, just saying, hey. But if I have high emotion when I do it, my claws are going to come out. Oh, my goodness. And it's high emotion. Ah, big. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> and so the, that's the, that was my idea. All right. All right. That idea shall be taken under advisement. <laughs> well, something uh, I will say something to, to consider is like, let's say that you have, even if you have just two different uh, marks, um, for example, in, in Spanish, you know, when it's an exclamation, you put an upside down exclamation mark first, a right side up one second. And so that makes them a little bit different. I want you to imagine that if you had uh, marks that didn't reverse, and you just had a few different ones, uh, you could actually mix and match. You know, like start with an exclamation, end with a question, start with a question, end with an exclamation, start with a question, end with a period, and so on. And those different combinations could give you different sentence types. So that's... Why don't we do that? I don't know. But that's something to think about, something to consider. Wow. Um, All right. By the way, we're doing now D. And and did you see Jake's tail up versus tail down is another idea that we could play with? That's an idea as well. Mm. I like that too. <clears throat> All right. Did you do that? I'm gonna put on my sweatshirt because I'm just like very suddenly got the chills and I don't know why. Oh, it's because of how cold it is here. It's, it's oh, nuts. absolutely freezing. Let's I just let's take a look. Let's take a look. It is. Oh, it it is literally freezing. Oh my god, it's, it's sixty two. It's sixty two degrees, and as uh, uh, Fahrenheit, um, which is uh, the, do we have a way to switch Some other this? Some amount in Celsius. Do we have a way to switch it? I forget. There is, but I don't remember, and I can just long click. Google it real quick. Yeah. Anyway, um, as you know, I consider 63 degrees Fahrenheit to be freezing. 16.7 degrees. 16.7 degrees Celsius. Uh, so that is uh, what it is outside. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Just literally freezing. So. Literally for day of bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's now. go ahead and start this off. So D is going to start the same way as... L does. Um, Did you see Tabby's? <laughs> David would die. I, I managed for a few weeks to set it at 68 um, until he got so cold he couldn't breathe. <laughs> well, and so then I, I, I moved I it got down. under the covers. It was okay then. I, I, I knew what I needed to do. And so I was trying to okay. make him a little better. Um. <laughs> so this is what we need to do. We need to change this into a bit of a swirl. How much? Yeah, it just goes just yeah. like that. Just a 
So it's actually it's a little cinnamon roll. Yeah, we already had a nice little base. Yeah. It's right. perfect. Um, so let's move this to kind of halfway. You see what I'm doing here? I do. Yeah, so this needs to be, both of these need to be flat and they need to be halfway between here and where we're going, which is not like all the way to there. It's like, I don't know, to here. In Jake's <clears throat> flat, their housemates keep setting the kitchen heater to 30 degrees Celsius. Isn't that like 100 degrees? Why the kitchen? That's the warmest spot in the house. Hey, George. Or is it George's wife using George's account? Oh, it's 86. Okay. Not 100. Yeah, but even... But 86? Even so, yeah, that doesn't make any sense because, like, it's the kitchen. The kitchen is, is always going to be the warmest spot in the oh house. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, and Jonathan... Not even I, I approve of that. I think um, David and I are, are built opposite in temperature settings. And if it gets too hot, I can't breathe. So it's like I understand... Like, so if I'm too hot, like, I start, like, it's hard to breathe. And I think it's just the exact opposite It was just, David. It was just a thing. I was, I was sick. You know, been but, dealing with sickness, unfortunately, as you know. But, hey, today, today, do you notice that we're both actually okay? Yeah, yes. today I've really turned a corner. Um, oh, that makes sense, Jake. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, let's see. Um. So what it, what is this line right here? If this is 861, then that's going to be 850. And we're going to call that... Um, let's call it... You know what? Let's, let's, let's say that this is going to go to 800. 800. Uh, and this thing's going to be at 7... I mean, 950... Yeah, 950 and this one, we're going to call it 1600. What's the midpoint between 950 and 1600? I had it. My brain stopped working. I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. 650 divided by 2 is 325 plus, it was between 950, right? Yeah. So 1275 is where we're going. 1275. Um, huh. Yeah, Jake, I, whoo. Your, your landlords, I think, are going to be questioning the inclusion of all your bills when they find out how much it costs to heat your flat. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Man. Bam. There we go. Okay. Now we have to see if we want it to get fat. Oh, this is a problem. Because it's slanty. Oh, and also Jonathan congratulated us on being simultaneous. Me well. Oh, well, Yay. thank you. I certainly enjoy it. I really wanted to delete that point. I really wanted to delete that point. Let's oh, see I what didn't happens. look what happened. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at oh, that! that's much better. Yeah, isn't it? Nice. The fewer the points you have, the better. How do I have 29 text messages since the start of our stream? I'm telling you, that's why I was trying to keep up on it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's, uh... Another one where oh, the uh, the over 50s are participating in the text chain and so feel like every single one-liner they think of has to be given to everybody in the text chain, you know. All right. <clears throat> and I think that may be a little bit too far. I think maybe this needs to come in. Yeah. So I have an interesting conundrum that we're going to need to address at some point. Mm -hmm. No way. I think we already decided um, because one of our characters, it's the one for M. I think it's the one you're avoiding. Yeah. Is built off um, a cat stalking. But I think we had decided that it would be the verb to crouch because that's like the shape of a stalking cat. Okay. 
Um, because we already have a verb meaning to stalk, so like we couldn't use stalk. Yeah. Um, Let's be happy with that. Yes. Feels yes. like it go, needs to go. Boom, but you know what? Let's be. Let's just be happy with this for right now. We'll fix it later, maybe. So we need a verb meaning to crouch for our stalking cat Glyph. Um, and it needs to start with M. And so I will happily take suggestions for roots, short roots, starting with M, uh, that will mean to crouch. And then after that, we only have one more. And then we're done with our alphabetic inspirations. Do you like that better or worse? I certainly don't remember what it was before. Oh boy. Um, all right, we're gonna we're gonna do this. All right, we're gonna do this, and uh, okay. All right. Wait. Uh, and we need to hit the uh, T button. Um. And David. George is asking a question that you may be able to answer. I cannot. Um, yes, I don't know how to do it, but um, I've seen it done because my uh, my cousin, uh, Claire Ng, who's a really, really good font maker and script maker, she's helped me with uh, scripts in the past. Um, and she does all of her design work outside of uh, font lab and imports it. <clears throat> I know you guys are coming up with roots, but I, I really need help. I think the right looks a lot better, but I think that the, the but the left is going to match in shape with the L. I might be able to fix the L so it can match in shape. Okay. And now I don't like the trunk of the elephant. And I have enough root suggestions, so we're good. Part of it's not visible. Can I? Can you show me? Um. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Well, they don't need to see this part of this is the pages document. Like. Just a second. <laughs> Waiting for video to catch up. Can I at least? Can we make it? It needs to come in smaller, like that much. Okay, we need to go back to the main. Um, and I'll update the. Thank you, Jake, for getting that root fix. I'll update it. Okay. Um, Which one was the one that you said would match the L better? This one. The one on the left. Okay. And are we, was this going to be the end? Are you going to have um, some sort of shape? Is it going to end in a bold it's gonna, shape? It's going to come out of the bold. Okay. I can't, um, I can't narrow chat. No. Oh, goodness. Why does it come out so different from the way it looks here? That's I don't know. weird. I am happy with both. Um, and so if the yeah, one on the left right, matches the balanced. L thing, okay. Yeah, so that's that was what I was afraid of. So I'm gonna see what I can see if I can do the same thing. It um what? It looks like a happy little whale. Yeah, Our new glyph. That's definitely. So we're gonna. This one's the happy elephant. This might be difficult. Um, delete this for starters, and then. Yeah, maybe delete that. It's going to go down like that. It's going to need to come up. 
Whose name is supposed to be Swedish, but is not. I have a note. Let me see it. I just thought that part was funny. Hmm. Okay. 6.1, huh? 6.1. Now I just need to make sure we have not used these roots anywhere else before I ask David for his favorites. Okay. Is Biff already a fan of like real opera? Because I, for some reason, see him being a fan of like real opera. Are the rest of us just fans of the fake stuff? I think that Phantom of the Opera is the very definition of the fake stuff. Um, but like where he would just be conversant with like just a, not just the three tenors, he'd probably scoff if the only tenors you knew were the three tenors. Um, oh, my taste likes the Baroque opera. Oh, and Papera, that is just a fun word. Ooh, opera. Okay, David. Yeah. To crouch. I'm gonna read you five words. You need to eliminate one. Okay. Mouh. Okay. Mats. Make. Math. <laughs> Mop. Um, we're getting rid of that math. Math. Because I don't mm. like that. Ending with a, yeah, I don't like that at all. Okay. <clears throat> all right, the other four will be coming at you in a poll soon. Oh, Bib Luridian is not. Oh, wow. W. Watson, hey. Oh, is it, are we robo? Do we sound robo? Yeah, I think somebody else would have mentioned something if that was the case. It might just be on your end, Watson. I was like, man, they must must really love us to not tell us that we sound like robots this whole time as they stick around. To crouch. We, oh, George hears it too. What? <laughs> Bless you, babe. Very sorry. Um, Jonathan says it, it's different, but not breaking up. Silvertail says it's a bit tinny. A bit tinny. Hmm. Mop just stays. Mop. Oh, Silvertail hit it on the head. Tenny is what. Could be my computer, um, because as we said, it did not even want to start earlier. Well, it, it didn't want to start any of the programs earlier. So. <laughs> well, that's, you know. You made me sneeze. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gave me the sneezes. Um, what do you mean you assumed we weren't at home? This is our same spot. Yeah. You didn't bring our backdrop. Mm. Man. Take a piece of this. Um, Oh no, don't do that. What's happening, David? I need to tell it to not do that anymore. No. Ooh, this was a tight pull. Oh, shoot. I'm just gonna leave it here for a second. It was a tight pull, I was gonna end it because we had the right number of votes. And then somebody came on and tied it up. 
Man, I'm just going to let it sit for a second. <laughs> that would be a feat, wouldn't it, Jake? Okay, we're making it worse. We're going to end the poll, and we're going to have David decide. Because we now are getting more votes, and we tied it two ways, but in different proportions. Um, mm -hmm. yes. So, David, there's a two-way tie. Uh -huh. Mats and make. Mats, make. For for what? Crouch. For crouch. And now we go silent. The best was obviously Mook. I'll go with Matt's. <laughs> oh my goodness. David's making waves here. Whoops. Let's make that pretty. Okay. Woo! And then we only have one left. I'm going to save that for just a, a second. So as you're working on that, too, we are so close to being able to put up Ooh. this next year's calendar of length time drawings. And we're going to hang it up down here since we now stream down here. <laughs> For at least the a little while until right. this computer dies, and then go back upstairs. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Let's see. I'm thinking of putting one right here and deleting that one just to see what happens. Just for funsies. Let's see. Uh, Jake this... says David is looking especially radiant at the moment. Thank God. It's about time somebody appreciated my obvious beauty. There's there's a chiaroscuro effect. I don't know what that is. I need to look it up. Right there. Right there. Nope. No good. Oh. No good. Ouch. No good. Oh. Oh, that's a nice... It's the use of strong contrast between light and dark. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so it's like girl with the pearl earring kind of lighting. Oh, oh, oh I see. Chiaroscuro. So I'm just looking a bit like a work of art, is what I hear correctly. <laughs> As you sit back and even look more. Oh, gosh. You're posing now. Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, I want to try one more thing. Um, it's not you, Brian. The bottom is a bit thicker because it yeah, yeah. comes around. Tis. Like that. But remember, that's that's the that's the style that won. Try to get the ninety ninety here. Oh, Ilona. Ilona. I keep I keep trying to move the stress every time I say it. It was good to have you, um, but yes, mm. please get some good sleep. Yes, we haven't learned that, but we can say um, terre tu roi. Um, yes, we can. And keep peace. <laughs> keep peace, yeah. That'll, In case you want to cheers yourself. That'll be good night until we learn what good night is. As we say, welcome, cheers, <laughs> and thank you. Kiitos. That's a little better. Ilona says, keep this back. But we do know how to say, velho, sauna. 
Poika. That means boy. Yep. Nies is man. Noinen. Noinen is woman. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah. Can't believe this worked. Okay. That's that's pretty good, I think, for the style we're going for. I, uh, next, I'm going to work on this okay. because I'm not happy with it. There's um, some sort of contrast there that doesn't look. Yeah, good. and it's gonna. I'm gonna have to do the same thing on both of them. Obviously, Debbie Watson is learning French or not French Dutch. Oh. <laughs> Let me say a completely different language name that just happens to have a ch at the end in the English spelling. Okay, does he don't know? It's uh, it's actually been very helpful listening to because I listen to a lot of Finnish metal. And it's very helpful listening to them speak English, speak and sing English, because it's like, it sounds a little off. And I figure like, well, why don't you just do Finnish to make it sound like them speaking English and works out sometimes. Apparently I need to listen to them more because I know my accent is well, we'll, really not good. We'll get there. We'll get there on our album list. So you can see whenever there's problems like this where it looks a little off, it's because of the points that you have to nail down. Obviously, you have to do some points, right? But you want to do it as few as possible, and the points should be in just the right spot to where, like, even if you remove the point, the image doesn't change. That's the ideal. And you notice oh, so thank you're doing you. Great. So we like this. I try to I try to pronounce things and have David correct them since he's much better. <laughs> All right. Good night. Sleep well. Kipis Devan, I think means goodbye. Maybe. Mm. Kipis Devan. Kipis Devan. Kipis Devan. We'll get there. Yeah. And apparently, I I I just knew that W. Watson was also studying French. I was just <laughs> I was on it. Okay. Oh, dear me. Now up to 40 text messages. <laughs> no. I swear, That's good. before moving here, I, it would be an entire month for me to have 40 text messages. And now it's like less than an hour. <laughs> Okay, that's good. So now we need to figure out what's going on here. I know, right? Like I was, actually, that's when we're gonna, in eight minutes, we're gonna copy co. Yeah, so I've got eight minutes to fix this. Yes. So we're really happy with this curve. We wanna preserve that curve. And so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to put a point up here. Where it's flat. Oh my god, yes. We have cookies. We're gonna celebrate the the start of Matthias's birthday with cookies. Uh, and Copico. So nice if we delete this. Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. We need another point. We need another point along this line that we're happy with. Okay. So that this thing doesn't Can you point exactly where you're upset with it? Because I look at this and think, well, that looks nice. Right. Okay, right, right there. This whole bit right okay. there. That needs to fix. Okay. <clears throat> and so is it just like a point maybe is needed like down there to be able to? Well, sure, but then like you have to be happy with it. <laughs> That's well, the I problem. Don't, I don't know. No, no, no. Dear, the problem is you have to be happy with it. Yeah, I suppose so. So we're really happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and introduce a point here as well. Nope. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two, four. There. Okay, now we've got a point there. And if it's, see, the thing is, you're not going to be able to just get it to do that curve if you delete that midpoint. There right. has to be some other point along the way. Would it be better to do it in thirds instead of mid? 
like if you get rid of the midpoint and do it more like a third of the way, a third of the way, would that kind of help it? It's got to be something in here. Okay. It, it, it's weird because it's like in order to fix this, you have to fix it first, then you can fix it. <laughs> a little bit of a cat nundrum. A cat nundrum? Yeah. To move and it. not to rush you. Six minutes and counting. I know. Just thinking of like moving now. Ah, oh. Did. I don't know how you feel about that, but I feel like that did something good when you moved it. It did. It's, it was the start of something. Okay. Oh no, Magpie! I, I completely understand, though, because sometimes we forget our Copico altogether. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, I was thinking, oh, I know what I was thinking. Um, I Because I took a picture of the string of lights the other day. I'm going to put that on Discord because you had me turn on the lights before we started. And I said I'd put it on Discord so they could see what I was turning on, and I forgot. You just said forgot in a very cute little way. Why, thank you. Okay, so it'll go. I feel like it's a good chat. Oops. Here we go. So here is my new string of photo lights now in discord what are the and by the way i'm waiting until after we celebrate i don't want to start anything until after we celebrate then I'm going to start the next round of suggestions. We have one more word we need to create, one more group for the um, the alphabet here. Um, but I didn't want to start anything and, and ruin our perfect timing. Just get so fat right here. But not like fat enough to make it look like it's on purpose, you know. Obviously that doesn't look any good. Ooh. But when you tilt it, it it's a possibility. Okay. <laughs> but there's something catching your eye in a way that is not. Yeah. That is crazy. wants to go up see so this okay. looks this looks bad right now but now we're seeing what it wants to do okay all right so then let's bring it up like Is... that don't worry don't worry wait oh, oh it's don't worry. I'm not going to worry. I, I was just going to ask you a question, but I'm not even Go ahead. going what, to. What's, what's the question? I want to wait and see what you're doing before I... What's the question? I want to hear it. My question was if this dot was too far to the left, that point... Might be. Because it looks like there's a slight bulge in that spot right there where there's that, that point. Do you, are you feeling any good differences there as you play between those two options that you just did? I really hate to do that. It does feel like... <laughs> I'm officially old with a capital O. Mm -hmm. Man. Just gonna... Just going to see what happens if we do this. Fingers crossed. Oh, oh, I like that. 
I do too. Very happy with that. Wow. I think we can do that. And perfect timing. So it's like, hey, happy birthday, Matthias. We just made a beautiful glyph. Yay! And so I'm going to get ready with... Ooh. Okay, so these are, what, well, did you decide what to name them? Um, David was going to name them for me. Ooh, that... happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday! birthday! Woo! <laughs> oh no! A piece broke! Oh man. I'm eating it. Okay. <laughs> Don't want to waste these. I'll take the rest of my cookie, please. <laughs> mm. Jesse's deep dark secret. That's what I'm calling these mm. for right now. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yay, my chase. Mm. Oh my god, that's amazing, my taste. We'll have a Copico after this to celebrate that. Jeez. What age are you putting on grinder? 13? <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. Little birthday cookie. Mm. 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 <laughs> Jake. <laughs> Oh, how fun. Mm -hmm. It's officially December 30th in Europe. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 And the stream goes totally quiet while we enjoy cookies. Sorry about that. <laughs> this way. So these, by the way, in case you're wondering, they have ginger in them, but then they're also chocolate lots of dark chocolate and so they are like gingery chocolatey molassesy spicy cookies and that's why David was trying to come up with a name and has gone with mm. Jesse's dark secret was that mm. super dark secret or something I don't know like I was spinning on some idea like that because mm, they have this surprise kick of dark chocolate you get the ginger right on top mm. but then as you venture into the cookie the dark chocolate comes to you you know it's just like ooh. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah all right now we do you want a coffee coat to top it off or do you just want to like I want a Copico when I do this. I'm going to re-do uh, okay. this so that there are fewer of these. I want to put one right there. Is that at... Not at 503. I want it at 500. Is that at 500? The one that says 502? Thank you. There. Let's see. Now, delete... This. Might delete this. No. Good. Mm. It's see amazing I... how all these little things like just yeah. keep making it look better. Mm -hmm. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> This is this is like our daily dialogue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have, along with things like that, I I, I do a thing that David calls questions, mm -hmm. where it's like instead of telling him to do something, I ask a question while making a suggestion that perhaps he ought to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Soften the blow, you know. 
All right. How about that? Oh, I like that. Okay, good. That's very good. Now, can I do this? Or no? Can I see at the end? I don't think so. I think I prefer it this way, but like if if it needs to be pushed in to be better matching with other glyph shapes. It's I wonder, Or can you just do it once? <sighs> no? Okay. The whole thing wrong. What do you mean? It, it throws the whole thing off. Oh, I thought you said you did the whole thing wrong. I was <laughs> like, what? We are not starting this one over. I know. It's, you know, it's it's good enough, but it's not perfect. And that makes me sad. But, you know, nothing can be done. No. I almost want another one. I almost want another one. I know. I know what I'm doing. I'm just going to sit back. I know what you're all seeing. While you're doing that, David, are you going to want to partake in a coffee copico or a cappuccino copico? Um, a cappuccino co. You can do a cappuccino. I'll go grab one while you're doing that. So I'm backing away from whatever you're doing there. It's a disaster. Now it gets thin. Yeah, okay. Um, and you have mine over there. Oh, so I do. All right. All right. Um, just, uh, yeah, give me, give me just, give me just sure. one, one second here. And as soon as he finishes this and we do our Copico, we're going to come up with our last word. Um, but I have to figure out what it's going to mean because it's based on the image that was like the cat with all the fur standing up, like fright. I yeah. wasn't sure what the word should be. I don't, I guess we could have, no, we already have a word that means like to scare or to frighten. So I don't really know what our word is going to be. So if you can give English suggestions for what a frightened cat what image the, could be based on. The heck? What the heck? Oh, to seize. Thank you. Okay. Oh, intimidate. That feels like a very hefty word. Because it needs to be something basic that would be a root. And and your body kind of, all the muscles tense and, and seize up. So I can see why Miles suggested that. Fear, we could have a noun form there. So we could do fear, too, and big, and I love it. Oh, to startle. Let me, do we have? Okay, we don't have startle yet, so that's good. Ooh, my S just whistled. Did you hear that? Thank goodness I did not. Hmm. Um, pretty sure, yeah, we already have to hiss. Um, right, ooh, George, that would be a great one. What is that word? Um, Hence. All right, so what we were talking about is like this, we need a word that's going to go with a glyph that looks like a cat that has been frightened, but we already have a verb that means to scare or to frighten, and it doesn't start with the, the right sound. Um, and so we need to come up with a different word that we're actually going to use as the basis of that glyph, um, but it needs to be like super basic. Um, And so I like, and I'm going to run these by David when he's not staring at this glyph. Um, 
and I like startle. I like the seas are tense kind of idea. Um, uh, and also that out. idea of like, oh my God, Jake, be wet. <laughs> Shocker surprise would be good. That's and good. yeah, like puff up or something like that. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna put this over here so that we still have the old version. And then we're going to see how we need to do it to copy. We need to just do it right there. 1555, 500. It's 1552. So that's 1719. Good. Okay, and that's what we will do. So we're going to delete everything in the middle. Ooh. Now we just have that shape, and we're and that needs to is that what you're replacing? It. Yeah, okay. we're gonna graft it onto the front here. Okay. I'm ready. You ready to celebrate Copico? Yeah. <clears throat> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. And then we need to talk about these suggestions that have been made. Is it stuck? Mm. Copico worth the trouble. Mm. Mm. Okay, so David, mm -hmm. I think you were listening yeah. as we were, you were glyphing. Um, we needed a word to go with that image that was based on a frightened cat. Yeah. And so we already have to scare or to frighten. I didn't know if we wanted to do a noun form of that because we could build a noun with a noun class marker off the verb root to scare or to frighten. So like, I didn't want to just say fear, right? Or, mm -hmm. or one of those. We've got shock, surprise, startle, detense of, or disease, like you, your muscles. And then a word that means like the feeling you get, like when you have that response, mm -hmm. um, or to like, excuse me, to puff up or something because their hair gets yeah. all puffed up. Um, bristling hair, Silvertail says, pilo erection is what that's called. That's interesting. P-I-L-O. Oh. Oh, interesting. Um, oh, bye, George. Um, and so... Of those, do you have a, a favorite for what it should mean? I mean, you can just write all those down, yeah. Okay. Well, we will figure that out later then. What we then need to do... I mean, you just put them all in the definition. It's not like it needs to have a one-word definition. Let's see. I'm going to need something. That's a lot of definitions, though. I need to be able to see which ones I haven't done here. Yeah, let's see. All right, we need this word to start with an R, and it's. What is this? Oh, babe, those are the fancy markers that Aaron got me, and they will bleed right through a page if you actually write with them. Oh. You gotta like double layer the pages. Okay. I need to. So we need. We need a root starting with an R, and that's the lowercase r, the um, alveolar trill. And so, yeah. Three, four, five, 
four, five. We have five glyphs left. And they're all the hardest ones. And yes, Jake, that is correct. Start with R. Regular old R. So it's just going to be that. Um, we do have a proto W, Brian, so that would work. The R A W. You're going to be doing um. This R right there, it just looks like an M with an extra hump. So we're going to use this and kind of build off of that. So for right now, we're going to do that because we can just get another one of these to get the other hump. And tincture, is it okay if I change that to R-E-S, like race, um, in the proto form? Because we don't have a proto um, high vowel. Excellent. Then it shall be. Okay. keep forgetting that when I sit back like that, no one can see me. Oh, and no worries, Tinkshire. I just wanted to make sure that that was a good replacement. It's pretty good. 600, 600, get that at 1,000, this one at 1150. Now we're just... <clears throat> And fifty Balder Snatch. Dinner. Okay. M Okay, so now Now David, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and we can only have four. This is for to bristle, puff up, etc, etc, etc. Rao. Rach, Ries, Rau, Rich, Rich. Get rid of that last one. <clears throat> and get rid of Rue. Okay. Let's try this. All right, four options coming your way. Better. Which one are you working on? It's going to be a very long character. I'm working on R. Oh, is that the awful one or is that? No. No, but, the awful one was B. But the thing is, um, so I've actually done it here, but it needs to be a lot shorter. It needs to be a lot shorter. 
this needs to come in by like that much. Said. This needs to come in. Five. This needs to come in. This needs to come in. Let's try that. All right, the pole is out. Let's try that. Put that over there. I'm going to take this. Oh my god, it does look like a music note. Mm -hmm. And now we need to uh, see if this works. Jake, that's an interesting question. Hopefully one we won't need to solve quite yet. We have more votes. We have all the votes in, so I'm going to go ahead and end the poll. Um, oh, Reese is our word. Uh, the answer is no, Jake. We don't. We decided that way back when. So Raul should have been <clears throat> taken out then. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and delete that as possibility too. But we had, um, that's all right. I'm the one that allowed it. I, I took it, put it in, and David didn't even notice. I mean, goodness. That's why we have, we always have to have Jake here to help us. It's a little early in the, le in the evening for character assassination. Is it? <laughs> I hope you're laughing at this glitch because I sure, sure am. No, Jake. I was trying to soften the blow with the, do we allow House of Creative Sin Roots? <laughs> That's perfect. It's perfection. And, dun da 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 we now have all the roots to support our alphabet. Oh my god, this looks so ridiculous. It I does. I kind of love it. That is... That is a glyph. My god. Kind of want to bring this down 50. Oh, the points? Yeah. Mm. Mm. You're right, Ragdoll. It does look almost like a fancy brass knuckle. <laughs> but only for three fingers. Uh-huh. It's so absurd. This entire writing system is so absurd. That it's gonna look amazing when it's all together. Is that hopefully. <laughs> it's gonna look like it's gonna look like the opening di the opening credits of the monsters. Well it makes Magpie think of a cat's little toes. Other people, um, you know, Brian and Jake have mentioned fangs and vampires. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a loaf of bread sliced into third. 
I like it. Maybe a fence. Love it. It's a blue star. It's done. <laughs> Jake. Kobe Con merch. Fancy brass knuckles. That's what we all need. And now... Now, I like the drawl better. Because it's every time someone breaks out in a southern drawl, you get your brass knuckles and shake your fist. And now we're going to add this and this together. What are we adding together? Uh, that. That with this? Uh, with this to get us M. <clears throat> Here's M. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like we're getting really close, aren't we? Yep. Perilously close. Well, that's exciting. It is in a way. Only in some way? It is in a way. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I'm getting very excited to see how this. Let's see here. Um, so it's going to kind of have to like. Let's just, you know what, let's just raise it up. So what's that, 175, and that's 250. I'm just gonna raise it up. Raise high the roof beam, carpenters. You seem very distressed by it. Yeah, you would be too. If you knew what Bib Loridian was writing. Wait, what Bib is writing? Yeah, he's, he's, he's writing up the... <laughs> He's, he's writing his report right now. It's going to show up in the Conlang News. About the awfulness of the stage of the glyph. <laughs> uh, look how bad that is. Yeah, I know. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, we just need to get them together. Now we're going to turn these, set them smooth. Now we're going to set this where it needs to be set. Can you see my face? Which is somewhere right around here. Okay. Oh, uh, it's at 1426. That's 1444. Let's set that at 1404. So it's 40 to the left. Now, we move this thing out. Maybe do a little bit of that. <laughs> Wonky cliff creator. That That's is your new, your new tag phrase. There we go. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, it was always going to do that. So. No need to worry. So it is a little bit bigger. So what we're going to do is move that over so that, so we got 1172, 1118, 1404. So the midpoint here, we want the midpoint here to be this midpoint. How do we get that? Okay. What were your two? We have, how big is the bump again? Here, it's 1118 let's, to let's, what? Let's find, let's find, the, let's just do the this the, the lazy way. We'll find the midpoint. There it is. 1257 minus, uh, we have to get 1257 to 1172. So you need to move over 85. 85, you got it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now it's at the midpoint, and we're going to maybe bring this in a little bit ski. A little bit oh. Ski. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's your I M. Like it. There's your M. Yay! Whew! Woo doggies. Well, now that's just not good. What's not good? It needs to be a little bit rounder. This needs to go. Um, to... Yeah, you're right, it does. And. Nope. <laughs> Jonathan, you're not wrong. <laughs> Sometimes David punches the keyboard. Yeah, I uh, been having been having some feelings. 
<laughs> I'm bring this out. And it's your keyboard. You should really like it better. I stole it from you. <clears throat> it's a little bit. It's a little bit better, isn't it? It is, but I just can't stop smiling every time you pull out into that that glyph view, and I see the snail just hanging out up there. Uh, that's a little bit too much. So I'm gonna bring this back. Too much roundiness. Yeah, I think that's about right. I like that. Yeah. Tonight's gonna be a good night. Tonight's gonna be. Oh, I see what we have left. Tonight's gonna be a Wait. good, good night. Wait. Yeah. Can I see this a second? Yep. This was the M? Yeah. What is this? I don't know. Do we have two M's? Um. These are both question marks. They were tied at 22. <laughs> Do we have another list somewhere that said this glyph is this, like somewhere on Patreon or something? Um, or like on there was Google? A, there was a vote. But then we had a tie at the end. I don't remember what we did to resolve the tie, because this was from the big vote, if you recall, the big graph I had to do, you know. On Google. Yeah, this one was also tied at 22, but it got X'd out. Yeah. Um, so I feel like we did a vote in stream, maybe? There were, I think, three glyphs that were tied at, um, 22 so it was like the cutoff only one of them could actually make it into the alphabet we assigned two of them to a proto m this one was older because it's because in the older if pen. it's in the darker purple it was older um Yeah, there's, and there's like one that's like a three with an extra bump. Okay, uh, shoot. And I'm gonna, I will go back into Patreon. I don't think, though, we've had any... While we're gonna do goals. that, I'm gonna work on B, which is fairly uncontroversially in. Uh, honestly, I would love it if we didn't have to do this one, because it's far too tall for this system. And I didn't know how I was going to resolve that. But B is just this plus this. Plus this. So let's start here. And yet, this, let's see how it's going to work. Oh, that'll actually work quite well. All right. So we had a big poll done in Google. Yeah, Jonathan, um, that's what you meant. We have, we have two letters here. This one is assigned to Proto M. And this one is a side to Proto M, and Jesse just noticed it. I don't know how we missed it. Uh, one of them, however, there's two different purples. One of them was original, and it's very hard to see. It's going to be very hard for you to see, but um, this one is clearly written in the original purple. So originally, we had this one slated for Proto M, where it was like, if this wins, it's going to be Proto M. And then this one is written in the new purple. The new purple says that that's Proto M but neither of them were X'd out. Okay, so this is, do you know how, 
like here's the poll, but I want to get to the responses. It's not in our drive though. Uh, it should be. Do I have to go somewhere else other than just drive? Because it very clearly is labeled season for hole 27. Yeah. That pulls up nothing. It says it doesn't match anything. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's untitled. Yeah, it's untitled. Sorry oh, about that. Oh, so the title wasn't pulling it up. Okay, okay. Said, shame on you, you cried in bed. Shame on you, you told the lie. How you do it? Can you, can I see what, what those were? Over there. Here you take that. Thank you. I think I know what I'm doing for this. I think I'm cooking, cooking with gas now. So I know what I'm doing. You ever listen to the background pa piano in that part? It's really cool. The shame on you, your mama said. It's going. It's really okay, cool. Okay, David. It's 28, yeah? Um, we did not ask for a sound assignment of AA, mm -hmm. but we did okay. ask for one for CC. Okay. And so, that, so this is the one where M won that. So that's just out? Like, I'm very happy with that. Yeah. And just as long as we have enough glyphs for all the letters that we need. I'm just going to put a big X right there. All right. <coughs> Bless you. So we're actually quite a bit closer <laughs> to being at the end. So I'm going to delete this. Um... And that was the one that was to stalk or to crouch, which the CC one is, which is the word that we just created as well. So. Also, what's up with that song? What? Told my girl we've got to break up. Thought that she would call my bluff. What the hell kind of bluff is that? Oh, hey, CJ. Whew. That's clown level. Yes, it was indeed a sneeze. Um, that. Oh wait, that's the wrong. This is gonna be hard to oh, do. Bet. How much space have we got over there? So this is at negative 50. The top of this thing is at negative 50. <laughs> is, that, is that where you need it? Oh my God. So there's no room. Uh, there's no room at all. That is really interesting. So I've never really thought too much about those particular lyrics. But yeah, told my girl we had to break up. Hope that she would call my bluff. Then she said to my surprise, big girls don't cry. Yeah. Um, that's because the, I'm borrowing this from another uh, clip. I'm borrowing it from this one. And if you'll take a look, you'll see that it's 50 over 1,000. That's why. Um, <clears throat> so the solution may be that I just need to make this a little bit shorter. And then the next verse just goes into like, shame on you, your mama said, shame on you, you're crying in bed, shame on you, you told me lies, big girls do cry. Yeah. It's it's not a very... Um... Really interesting. It's called, it's called terrible dating advice. Wow. Yeah, that is. It is. 
Yeah, those were the song lyrics um, that I was reading. Um, she just wants to go up. It's very weird. She wants to go in. Uh, Big Girls Don't Cry, but it's not the Fergie one. That, that's a completely different song. It's the, like, it was the Four Seasons, yeah? Or maybe. maybe. Yeah, the Four Seasons. This to be at 46.9. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. You all right there? <coughs> Jake said someone... It's 340. Jake said someone made up that they were seeing someone else to judge their reaction. Like, someone Jake was seeing was like, I'm seeing someone else. Ooh, ooh. That's... And, and then they, they were a little shocked when Jake didn't trust them afterwards. Going, what? That's, what? That's clown level stuff. Oh that's my so gosh. Ridiculous. Ugh. Whoever did that, I would get those fancy brass knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I could never actually hit someone. Uh, I could shake my fist, though, and it could look all shiny with brass. Man. Okay. So, as we're getting in our last 20 minutes of stream, yeah. we've decided punctuation. Yeah. Well, placement. We haven't decided Oof. actual punctuation, of course, but just placement. Freaking good. Um, thinking poll, what our poll is going to be. Yeah. We actually get, I guess, shape or inspiration suggestions or something. See, this is actually what I want it to be. But um, I don't think that's possible. Grass smells good to you. That is interesting. Oh, yeah. Brass is a very distinctive smell. Wow. I used to get a lot of brass animals when I was a young boy. So it's got to be like that. Mm. The only thing to do about that is to preserve that there. And then delete this here and see what happens. CJ says it looks like someone tried writing sheet music but was a little tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Was that a good? No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, just look at it. Look at it. I thought you were like, Jesus, I'm good. No. Oh, God, I hate this. <laughs> it's fine as... Oh. Why'd you choose this style, patrons? Oh, it's all right. Make it work. Jake, is that something I want to know? Oh, I did not know that. Now I know. Huh. And what is half the battle, Joey? Jesse. No way. <laughs> So, yeah, um, uh -huh. because I love it unapologetically, I can see why. Um, so brass monkey, you can use it to refer to cold weather, to describe cold weather. It's a shortened form of the phrase. I guess it was a traditional Navy phrase that it's cold enough to freeze the balls off a brass monkey. And is that what the song is about? What song? The Brass Monkey song? Yeah, Brass Monkey. We'll find out. No, actually, I think that's the cocktail. Because it says here, yeah, drink Brass Monkey. Here's how you feel. Um, there's a cocktail. That's pretty lame. It's a brand name of pre-mixed cocktails made by the Hublin Company. Okay. 
It's named after the colloquial expression, though. Huh. Interesting. Is that a joke? Is that a joke? Oh my god. Your glyph or me? What? What? And Magpie, now I'm very curious about the childhood tongue twister. Like... This... Whoa, what? Is that what you're... Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I, okay. I... That's at the same spot. So that has to be where it goes. Unbe- Hmm. <clears throat> gotta be kidding me. Got to be kidding me. I wish I, I were. I don't know how to fix this. <sighs> Give me a little pat on the back. <laughs> What's happening is that this thing isn't the same on the left side as it is on the right. That's what's happening. And so because of that, there's this garbage. And we're just going to make it the same. Look at that. Now it's the same. But look at how this one's real short and this one's real long. You know what? Look at that. 385 and 470. 385 versus 470. That's how far off it is. Unbelievable. So now I have to make that that. I'm going to have to make this this. So that's 153 uh, with an angle of 46.6. It's at 540, which is here. And it's got to be an angle of 46.6, which is there <sighs> there so magpie uh -huh. um that line that you were you were saying is actually from a 1940s cold reading test for prospective radio announcers and so the uh -huh. test it essentially has the same cumulative structure as the 12 days of christmas um, and yeah, eight was just eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred holy crypts of Egypt. Nine is nine sympathetic, apathetic, diabetic old men on roller skates with a marked propensity towards procrastination and sloth. Wow. Although ten is even better. Ten lyrical, spherical, diabolical denizens of the deep who all stall around the corner of the quo in the quay of the quippy all at the same time. Wow. I'd be pretty good at that. I think I would have loved to have lived in that era where you could just say stuff and people would pay you. <sighs> you know what? Um, Six pairs of John Alvaro's tweezers. I need your help again. Need to figure out. So the distance between eleven nineteen and eight thirty three is what? Eleven nineteen and eight thirty three. Yeah. Two eighty six. Half of that is. Um, that should be one forty three, and I was right. Whew, I just wanted to double check it. Okay, and so one thousand four plus one forty three is one one four seven. Correct. There we go. Now we need to make this and that work. All right. Goodness. Anyway, what I was going to share with you, I had a very unique experience. I, I got to be at this thing called San Diego Comic Fest, which was a, a microscopic little convention that was started by the guy who started San Diego Comic Con, who didn't like how big it had gotten and how commercial he wanted to create uh, one that was like the original San Diego Comic Con. So he created San Diego Comic Fest, which only had like three or 400 people attend. And it was at a very small place in San Diego uh, in Hotel Circle. But the guests that were there were just extraordinary. Two of them were these animators for Disney who started working there in the uh, late 40s or early 50s um, and had worked on basically all the Disney stuff. Uh, going up to like the 70s. 
uh, and they were talking about the old days. One of them, the way he got the job, he said this was extremely common at the time, was that uh, his, he was a teenager and his mother went and dropped him off at Disney Studios with his drawings and said, basically, go get a job. And apparently, this is how a lot of people got jobs back then. Like, it was uh, almost like, I don't know, like, a, I mean, they didn't have memes at the time, but that, you know, if you were just some young kid who was trying to get a job, you know, you were just lined up outside of an animation studio uh, with drawings trying to get a job. And yeah, so he went there and he had his drawings and the, the guy at the gate is said, you know, hey, I'm here. I want to try to get a job. And he's like, do you have an appointment? He's like, oh, no. <laughs> he's like, I don't know what I can do for you. He's like, he calls in and says that there's a kid here who's trying to get a job. He says, does he have an appointment? No. He's like, well, then show him away. But his mother dropped him off and he wasn't going to have another ride until she got back at like 5 p.m. So he just sat there outside the studio, not really knowing what to do. So, so the, the security guard at the gate, like after an hour of this, said, hey, can I see some of your drawings? And so he showed them to him. And the security guard thought they were pretty good. And so he called again and said, hey, this kid, I mean, I think his drawings are pretty good. Maybe you can go see him. And they're like, all right, fine, show him in. And they went and looked through his drawings and they said, all right, they are pretty good. Uh, we'll, you can go get lunch over here and then you come back and you start. Wow. And then he worked at Disney Studios on all the major animation there for the next 40 years. Miles, I need to hear more about your mom getting her first job in a similar way. <laughs> That's fascinating. I need what job? What's the story? And Silvertail, yeah. um, my heart goes out to you, and I sure hope you find something good and soon. Yeah, I know. If only that still worked. Is it any wonder that older people are like, how come you can't get a job? Well, just show up there and say, I want a job. That's all you have to do. Between that and, like, <laughs> buying a house. Yep. Uh, the, the, the house that, that Paul Fromer lives in right now uh, in Los Angeles, in a very nice area of Los Angeles, he started out renting, and then the owner decided to sell it to him for ten thousand dollars uh and that was in the 70s early 70s uh, he's expanded on it since but it's now worth <laughs> oh, a lot more yeah um awesome to shoot okay we're getting shoot. the story from miles my grandpa dropped her off at an office building to get a secretarial job and she was hired and stayed there for several years <laughs> wow oh yeah cj that's another good one i was able to pay my way through college why can't you i worked at a gas station for 10 cents an hour <laughs> uh yeah tuition is crazy because like when you look up the equivalent i mean it's like so crazy different where it's like at one point college was really just like a few hundred bucks per semester <laughs> And now it's so not. Okay. Ooh, Jake's grandpa was put into the Navy because his dad thought he was being too lazy at home. Sheesh. Mm. I'm gonna... Okay, so... Oh, Silvertail um, is currently living at home. Um, but that also means... Gets a lot of, uh, just show up and ask if you can do an interview. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, it's uh, very different. Mm. Well, there's your character. There's your B. <laughs> Whoa! But I like it. All right. Jesse likes this. It's like a, a string. Uh, I'll tell you what it's like. It's like a, it's like a pretzel that your boss at the pretzel factory would send you packing for. It's like a homemade pretzel where you're like, well, that didn't work. Yeah. But it still tastes good. Okay. <laughs> God. I do. Wow. Tincture says it's wonderful, but completely ridiculous. Ooh, 
Miles says that's what the P is like in, in Chien. It's a long U, I think. Chien. The heck is that? Is that a con line? Isn't that Miles' language? Ah. Let's see if I can do something. Stop. Stop that. You know, you know what I want. You know what I want. Keep. There we go. That's what I wanted. You knew that. You knew that. David really does yell at the computer this much on any given day. Yep. There are times I'm in another room and I'm like, I don't even know what's happening. The best though is when he does recordings for Halo and I almost come running because I swear every recording is like you yelling and there's so many ejective sounds that I'm like, oh my God, something's happened to David. <laughs> and then it's like, oh no, just a recording. Yeah. It's fine. Whoa! Ooh. No, 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 sir. <laughs> Undo. So I really like this right here. I just don't like that. The, like right there? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, by all rights, this shouldn't work, but we're going to see if it does. Um, did that get all of that? It's a little too sharp. Okay, I want to bring this down to keep it at the same level. It's 45.7. There. It's a little bit better. Um, and this is going to have to be 46.2. Oh, for the curve? Or the angle? Yeah, for the angle. Well, they give you 46.3 and 46. Can you get to? I'll get there. Okay. Got to 46.1. I have faith in you. There we go. Oh, that does look better, yeah? I hope so. <laughs> Good. Please tell me. You're, you're getting some good images screenshotted here of David's face as he... This, this, there's some good reaction faces here to be on Discord. <laughs> you look so upset. It's slightly better. I mean, I think it does. I know you're still not happy with it. But Jake says you're still looking radiant despite the anguish. Oh, goodness. So that's something, right? No. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I just saw you draw your star. I don't think people realize that you draw your stars in such an interesting way. I draw them the normal way. Start at the right corner. Bum, 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 bum. He's, he does it kind of backwards. And one time... Do you that's not backwards. That's the normal way. It's like sideways. Do you remember, though, that, that, yeah, exactly, like, way back at the beginning of the stream when we were doing, like, tests and we were, like, trying to just record ourselves chit-chatting or whatever and we were just testing audio and whatnot, mm -hmm. and one time you were like, you know how you can do the double star thing, you just draw the line longer and then you essentially get two connected stars, right? Yep. And you kept trying to explain it, and I'm like, what are you talking about? So you had to actually show me what you did, yeah. and that's when we discovered we draw our stars differently. And I just want to say, Erin is on my team with the star drawing direction, because she draws stars like I do. But in case you want to know what that... Mm, let's see. See, it's like, it's like you're pulling two stars out of one. All right. Oh, Miles got a tattoo. Hey, right on. Merry Christmas. Uh, top to bottom left. Jake goes from top to bottom left. Oh, my. That's backwards. It, we've only got one glyph left. We've only got one glyph left. We have one minute, but one glyph left, and it's this... Stupid one. Viren starts from the bottom right. I start from the bottom left. Fascinating. 
Okay, Viren, thank you. Bottom left. CJ does too. Okay. Thank you, Silvertail. Um, and yeah, sure, technically yeah. you can start with any of the points, but I just didn't realize people started anymore but the bottom left. Until David. That's right. We're gonna we're gonna, You're gonna do, do this one today. We're gonna do a change on this one. Oh, make okay. it a little easier because it's not gonna work with that one. It's gonna be this. Um, we're just at, we're at least gonna get it started. Where's the J? Don't we have one that's just like a J? We don't. Dang. Huh. Intriguing. Well, I guess we're just going to have to borrow this one. Can't check you a star direction poll. Oh, Viren's first grade teacher tried to teach them by starting from a pointy four. Hmm. I feel like that could go wrong very quickly. Mm -hmm. oh, that's awfully cute. I like that. Yeah. So we're going to put that right there. We're going to bring that over here. Whoa! Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's going to be amazing when you pull it all together. Yeah. Yes! Okay, now we're just going to pull this over as far as it goes. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, this is going to be gorgeous. Yeah, let's see. It's 780 and that's 719. Let's put a little bit more space between those. Put that at 800. That'll be good. And we can't do this yet until that's good because then you'll have to adjust them on both sure. sides. All right. So. <clears throat> that is, I'm just very excited how it already looks good and you haven't even done any of the adjustments. So I feel yeah. like a lot of times before you do adjustments, I'm a little bit like, really? You just did that? Now I'm like, I'm on board with everything that's happening right on so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put a dot there in the middle that's it um, because what we want to do is have it curve into the line even if we have to change the line sure curve into it. what we don't need is this we need that Right. Um, and so this needs to be over here. And probably not going to need that. In fact, I'm going to put the dot here. Ooh, Jonathan had an idea for a question mark. Okay. Same as the cat face glyph but tilted 45 degrees, like they tilt their head when they look at you with their questioning eyes. Oh, that's cute. Which one's the cat face glyph? Um, I think it, it's, it's a, this one, yeah, I think. Yeah, that one. And then and that one was similar, I think. Hmm. I don't know if a 45 degree tilt is going to work because it would just look askew, but I like the idea. So that's a good place to start from. Okay, let's get this right. So what angle is this? 57.5, 57.3. Let's get it at the same angle. Okay. All right, let's move it up. There we go, 7.3. Let's see if we can add a couple other nodes right there. Actually, that's maybe one too many. We don't need that because we have that one down there. 
there now, right? Let's go ahead and put that there. And while you're doing that, Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. If we're happy with that, and I think that we are, I'm going to go ahead and join that now. These both need to be smooth. Yep. actually coming out rather nicely. Oh, that is nice. So I was looking at um, so I do that. It's not bad actually. I was looking at Discord quickly because uh -huh. this is Miles's tag too. Wow, what does it mean? Like, I'm going to ask that here um, because it's like, I think I. Okay. I want to see if I'm right. Um, LTS Pratt work on that one. Oh, this is looking nice. It's a little too fat there. And but, and when I say it's a little too fat, it's like it should either be a lot fatter or it shouldn't be fat at all. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm and gonna, Jake, you're absolutely right. Um, this could be like a logo for a fancy bakery. Yeah. Oh, I was actually isn't too oh, bad. That actually isn't too bad. I just deleted all the nodes and kind of just came together. Oh, and now I totally get Jake's joke after it. Thank you, Miles. I needed. Oh, we don't need that. No, oh, we do need that. We do need that. <clears throat> That is really nice. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Magpie says a 90 degree tilt could work. I think going back to Jonathan's suggestion for tilting it, yeah. um, maybe tilt it kind of dramatically and maybe that would help. <gasps> Whoa. is wild. Yeah. It's not it's just, not too bad. Just a few kerning things. Yeah, oh yeah. But it... wow. <laughs> wow. It's like we hit the end. It's like you hit this as a dividing point and it's like get ready. Yeah. Put the snail up there, David. All right. Yes. <laughs> oh my god oh my god i love it all right everybody thank you for joining it. now we just need to do numbers and punctuation and current and also like how to type it because we haven't done that. yeah all good all good all good but thank you for being here um and we won't see you until 2023 so happy new year thank you for a wonderful year Honestly. Yes, yes. And um, yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Stay grammar. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Stay grammar. <laughs>